All right, coming to the stage, very funny guy. You might have seen him on Comedy Central and uh, a bunch of other movies and TV uh, stuff. Let's go. Who's next? Let's go for Tony Baker. Yeah. <laughs> How we doing, guys? Y'all good? Oh, y'all look good out here. Look like y'all got health care. That's what's happening. <laughs> All right now, yeah. Dental benefits in the front. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, guys. Uh, this is the smooth jazz portion of the show. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, huh? Y'all know what I'm talking about. I feel like I don't have a voice for stand-up sometimes. Like, my voice is too deep. Like, I should be giving away vacation tickets at 12 noon on 94.7 The Wave or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about that smooth jazz comedian? Oh, yeah, y'all ready for these jokes? Let's get into it. <laughs> Traffic is crazy, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Traffic joke. <laughs> Asians be driving, don't they? <laughs> Asians be driving. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Stereotypes. <laughs> My name is Tony Baker, man. Uh, I don't smile in bad neighborhoods because I just got a soft ass smile, guys. I mean, just. <laughs> I can't smile in bad neighborhoods with this guy. I'll get robbed by elderly people with this. <laughs> I'm cool if I'm not smiling. You know, the villains will give me a pass. They'll be like, oh, hold on, man. Look like this dude can handle. Oh, wait, are those dimples, dog? Oh, this dude's adorable, man. Take his wallet. Take his wallet. Take his wallet, man. I can't smile. I can smile on stage. It's safe here. That's why I carry this planner with me all the time. It's old school. That's why I put all my comedy show dates in this planner. You know, yeah, I got a smartphone, but if I get robbed because I was smiling in the wrong neighborhood, they're going to take my phone. But you got to be a cold-hearted villain to steal somebody's plans, though. <laughs> Can you imagine getting robbed for your plans and shit? They're just ripping pages out your plan and shit? Be like, yeah, give it up. Okay, absolutely. absolutely. There it is, there it is. Yeah, let me get that phone, too. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. And the code is 2162. I don't want any trouble. Yeah, what's that in your back pocket, though? Oh, this? This is my plans, man. It's just my plan. Oh, you got plans and shit? You got plans? Man, give me this shit here. Yeah. Hey, Big Meech, Larry Hoover, he got plans. <laughs> but you were busy last month, huh? You had a lot of shit going in here. Yeah, well, you know what? That shit never happened. We taking all your plans. <laughs> we did those shows. <laughs> yeah. What you got coming up, though? Oh, you got a birthday. Hey, you got a birthday coming up, fellas. You know what? That shit never happened. You were never born. <laughs> That's my birthday. Tell you what you ain't got in here, though. You ain't got this robbery in here. Yeah, let me get that pen, dog. Yeah. We robbed this dude outside the Comedy and Magic Club. There were some plans for your ass right there. <laughs> it's crazy, man. <laughs> I grew up with the teddy bear label, guys. Like, girls always call me, y'all like, Tony, you're just a big old teddy bear. I hated this, ladies. Ladies, don't ever call a man a teddy bear. Because teddy bears are notorious for never having penises. Think about that. <laughs> How many teddy bears in the game you know with a strong penis? Think about the teddy, think about Yogi, Fozzie, you know what I'm saying? No penis in sight. Yeah, they got hats and ties and all that good stuff. No packaging. That's what you're calling me. You know what I'm saying? Look at Snuggles frolicking in the laundry. Just nothing down here. He's just frolicking. Oh, it's soft. That's what you're calling me. Winnie the, Winnie the Pooh is so confident in his lack of penis, his shirt stops here. His shirt stops here. He's just like, oh, yeah, no penis in sight. That's what you're calling me. Winnie the Pooh? No, nah, I'll pass. Like, if I want to be Winnie the Pooh for Halloween, I'm getting arrested because I'm going to really be Winnie the Pooh. You know, I'm showing up, boom, boom, trick or treat, guy. You calling the cops? It's just me and Piglet out here. It's just me and Piglet. Hmm, man. And I didn't know, I didn't know men got dressed Winnie the Pooh style. I found this out at 24 Hour Fitness. Some men get dressed Winnie the Pooh style. I mean, I thought, I thought when we got out the show, fellas, we got dressed underwear first. I thought that was the first order of business. Like, we put the underwear on, then everything else accordingly. Dudes in 24 Hour Fitness, man, they walking around Winnie the Pooh style, man. Because if I see a man with a shirt on, I automatically assume he has bottoms to go with that. 
So I'm like, we make eye contact. I'm like, all right now. But I'm like, no, oh shit, ball sack. Ball sack, you weird poo bastard. You got me, man. You got me. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. <laughs> I got kids, guys. I'm the father of two boys. Uh, and it's funny, man. My youngest son is the Marv Albert of family nudity, man. He kills my self-esteem every time. Like, when I get out the shower, I'm looking for him to avoid him. Like, I'm like, is he here? Where is he at? <laughs> All right, let me tiptoe to the room. I don't know why I always tiptoe when I'm butt naked. I don't know what... Is, is it just me? Like, like the tiptoeing vanquishes the nudity. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I tiptoe, they won't see me butt naked in the living room, <laughs> perhaps. But my son, he's like, hey, Dad, how come when you stop moving, your stomach is still Like, you little piece of crap. That's why I'm not even your real dad. He's like, he's like actually, you look like the fool because you're raising somebody else's kids, Dad. I'm like, crap, I never got a comeback for him. And then he asked me for help on his math the other day. I felt so dumb, because I fell off the math wagon early, guys. Once we hit fractions in school, I just fell off the wagon. So now he was like, hey, Dad, I need help with number 26. I was like, crap. I went in there. I was like, all right, all right now. What we got going here? What we got going? I had to divide a whole number by a fraction using decimals. Ah, oh, damn it. And I was trying to throw words at him to th throw him off course. I was like, dude, you got to find the least common denominator. He's like, I already know that, Dad. Help me with this problem right here, though. I'm like, crap. I'm digging through the chapter, like, panicking. And then I go to the back and get the answer. I'm like, oh, the answer's six. It's simple, man. He's like, nah, Dad. You got to show your work. I'm like, crap. <laughs> I'm just standing there for 20 minutes flipping pages. He's like, you know what, Dad? You know what? It it's cool. It's cool. I just fail in life, Dad. I just fail. I just fail. You go back in the kitchen and make those tacos, Dad. That's what, that's what you're good at, making tacos. Man, make mine soft, corn tortillas, Dad. Man, dog. So I can't even tell them to go to bed. How can I tell them to go to bed? I can't, because they're going to look at me like a dummy. Like, it's bedtime, kids. He's like, hey, Dad, why don't you divide my bedtime? by a fraction using decimals. When you figure that out, we'll go to bed. <laughs> so I walk past their bedroom at 5 a.m., they still up. I'm like, yeah, Dad, we still up, man. We still up. I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. Go to bed, Dad, you dummy. I'm like, shit. That's what I deal with, guys. I'm 25% white, guys. 25% white. So occasionally that stuff stands out in the stuff I'm into. Like, I blame it on that 25 I usually got to blame it on that 25 Like, I want to bungee jump and skydive, but I want to take it to the next level. You know what I'm saying? I want the pilot of the plane to jump out first. Then I want to push the instructor out. I want to jump out last with no parachute, catch the instructor mid free fall, pull the cord together, and then land and then tackle the cheetah. That's that 25 right there, guys. That's that 25 right there. Like if I hear a strange noise out back in the basement, I'll go check it out by myself. That's that 25 right there. Because I don't know if y'all know about black folks. We like to die in a group. We like to die. Hey, dog, come with me to check this noise out just in case I get killed. I don't want to die by myself. Come with me, dog. Come on, man. That's that 25 right there. Like, I like to go on nature walks or hikes, and instead of running from the grizzly bear or puma, I like to stand there and marvel at it. Maybe bring the kids in closer so we can touch the fur, so we can get mauled as a family, as a unit. That's that 25 right there, guys. I like to go to the movie theater and shut the fuck up. That's that 25 right there, guys. That's that 25 right there. <laughs> That's that 25. And I don't, know how to, I don't know how to tell my kids what I'm scared of, like what scares me. Like, I'm, I'm scared to pee in the bathroom if it's a fly in there. For real, like if it's an active fly in the bathroom, I will abort mission every time because I don't want it landing on my penis, people. Because have you ever just watched a fly when it lands on something? Have you ever looked at it? It's always doing stuff with its hands. Every time it lands, zzz. <laughs> What is that? Whatever that is, I don't want it happening on my ass. I don't know what that is. I'm scared of clowns too, y'all. Clowns scared, oh, clowns? If a clown came in here tonight, this whole club would shut down. All right, who, who, who's not scared of clowns by round of applause? By round of applause. Oh, oh, everybody, oh, you're tough, huh? Everybody's clapping it up. Good times, huh? Bravery, huh? Well, let me ask you this. If a clown was at your door at 10 p.m., would you open it? Why not? You're not scared. Everybody's scared of clowns past sundown is what I'm saying. 
You never want to see a clown. Like, why is he still in makeup? The circus ended hours ago. He's walking the streets with the makeup on. You never want to see that. That will ruin your whole evening. you be like, yeah, we had a good time at the comedy show. Was that a clown on the porch? Get in the car, act like we don't live here. They're standing at your door. And if you see one clown at your door, it's eight more inside. You know, they pack deep in the little slug bug. Y'all don't hear me though, man. Clowns, guys. Listen, man, I appreciate y'all. My name is Tony Baker. Thank you so much.